time as he was and I'm first team hockey captain. I would say Andal first eleven um, girls hockey is always full of sort of fun, team high team morale, um, going to every game ready to win. Despite the result, we come off with our heads held high. Going into the season, we said let's let's get plenty of games. So with the facilities that we've got, we invited five schools to Andal from all over the country and over a four-day period we, we played five games so when we went into our first Saturday we were pretty pretty on it from a team point of view in that way we decided that we were going to be hard to beat but to do that we needed to score goals as well and one thing we have done is set a target of scoring at least three goals a game that we get something out of it and the girls have taken that on board and if you look at our results where we have lost we've only lost by the odd goal uh, and when we've won, we've actually scored a lot of goals as well. So I'm very, very happy with that. So we've had a really good season and it's great to get back out on the pitch after a year of um, no games. Um, we started off the season really well, loads of wins at pre-season. Pre um, and then unfortunately we slightly lost a couple of games, um, but we've created loads of chances, it just unfortunately didn't go our way on the score front. Let's talk about the left foot. So as Claudia came towards the ball here, that was we're spending a lot of time in what I call scenario-based training. So I think behind me is a 7v7 game where we've, we've set some constraints on what we want to do to suit our game. And I think the big thing about that is that I'm able to set up sort of situations for individual players or small groups of players as, as we play these games. And the girls behind me are actually wearing GPS at the moment. And that's part of the sports science side that we're trying to bring in. We're collecting data around their speed, their endurance, and distance covered, etc. And we can then gauge our training to suit their workload. Because a lot of them are not just busy sports-wise, they're busy academically. More recently, we've now got five players going to an England performance centre uh, on a regular basis, which we haven't had for a long, long time. And that can only bear good fruits for us in the future. No, no, put it straight in. How are we going to put it into the circle? Why did it break down there? So even now I'm starting to plan what are we going to do in September 2022? How are we going to reshape our uh, Lent term and then the summer term? And, and are there any advantages in doing something slightly different? 